and I got my two wheels licensed officially. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free. So please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I got for y'all today is I just want to say thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new supporters. I can't thank you guys enough. Hey, shout out to y'all. Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all for running the numbers up like I asked y'all to. We're trying to get to 1K. We haven't made it there yet, but hey, we on our way. But anyhow, I got some good TikToks for y'all today. I got some Lieutenant Dance. I got some good Googly Mooglies. And I got some Wowzers. So make sure y'all stay to the end of this video, man. Because the, this la the last slide or the last clip on this video, y'all going to be like, what in the is going on? I want y'all opinion on what, what y'all think on this last clip. You know what I'm saying? I don't promote any of this stuff. And this is for educational purposes only. Let me go ahead and say that. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Yeah. We all know and we all have seen where you got those racks that you put around the tires. So we can kind of see where it's gonna go. But let's check it out. Hey, it ain't funny. One thing I can say, at least we saw it moving and get up off the ground. Hey, but I know he hurting. So whenever you blowing these tires up, put a rack around it. Put something around it that's going to brace you and keep you, excuse me, put something around it that's going to brace you and keep you safe. Don't ever just, my goodness, good googly moogly. y'all think happened here y'all think he fell asleep and ran down into that travine ravine travine what am i talking about ravine <laughs> y'all think he fell asleep let me know put it in the comments <laughs> what is this guy trying to do where are you trying to go at i mean i don't see no opening Nothing. Is this a Lieutenant Dan? Like a virgin. Y'all watched the previous video. I like a virgin. It ain't gonna fit, bro. It's not gonna fit. So I see he might have made somebody mad and he just trying to destroy whatever property it is. Call this guy right here, Little Scooter. We gonna call him Little Scooter. Hey, I'm Scooter. Uh, hey, he's passing out again, Jose. Let's start calling today. Oh. He's passed out again. 
It's okay. Relax. Relax. It is what it is. We can figure things out, but we put this in the front, okay? Just make sure you don't do anything. It's all right. You want to lean up against the tire? Yeah, I think. Let's get your feet back. Thank you. A little more back. There you go. Thank you. No, come to me. You passed out. Do you remember before you passed out, the getting pulled over and talking to my partner? You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and so then when I was talking to you, you were standing up, standing up, looking at me, okay. and then you just passed out. Sure. I never looked at you. Well, I caught, caught you the best I could, but you're kind of a big guy. So, came across this traffic stop here, didn't have a plate on the trailer. Seemed very nervous and pale, well, claiming he's all the way from Washington is. doing a drop off with you. All white bricks. All white bricks. California. This story wasn't kind of aligning. Got consent to search the vehicle and then came across these boxes and immediately noticed these brick like packages. Based on my training experience, we have a kilo. And we ain't even got to distinguish whether this cocaine or fentanyl. Let's say it right there. Cocaina. Perusian. Perubia. White. That white girl. That nose candy. That booger sugar. Love cocaine. Minimum 50 kilos here. An average price of 30,000 a kilo. You multiply by that 50, that's how much money we're getting off the streets. And that's on a wholesale, uh, that's on a wholesale price. So if you think about actual street level prices, this is a lot more expensive. You can easily double that. Ooh, did you hear what he said? 30K a key. And he got 50 of them. So you talking about what, 1.5? 1.5 million? Whew. And that's just, they probably going for more than that. And on the streets, I know it's probably double that amount. Yeah, he done had a bad day. Somebody is fixing to get a phone call. He looked like he's scared. He trying to decide in his mind whether he going to tell or not. Y'all think he going to tell? Put it in the comment section. Do you think he going to tell? Put So I'll know to do a reaction to this. Y'all tell me whether or not he gonna tell or not. Just put tell or not tell, and that'll trigger me to know. <laughs> Thirty-five thousand dollar amount. Like I said, we'll park down at the station, okay? Since you've been cooperative the whole time, we'll leave you can't get to the front. You're gonna be under arrest for transportation of uh, cocaine, okay? That's a large amount, and it's considered a large scale on our kind of traffic, you know. Any questions for me? Yeah. Okay. Cocaine itself is one of the more uh, rare drugs that we find. Typically, it's a methamphetamine, heroin. So. Find cocaine package like this and this amount is a huge hit. These never go good. What it is, Lieutenant Dane. Do y'all see this guy right here in the corner with this tank top on? And he trying to hold the thing up like he really can hold all that weight. Dude, that's a steamroller. Do he not know how much it weighs? Bruh, Lieutenant Dan. That's all I can say. Oh. What's this? Joker look like a spaceship. Look like it's just hovering on the... Roller skate. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a Kenworth. Ooh, that thing nasty. Kenworth. Boy, y'all did y'all thing with that thing nasty. Whew. What you do for a living, Juan? Drive trucks. I'm a nurse. How much you pulling in a year? 100K. 100,000? 100,000. In Savannah? Yes. About a million. A million cash? <laughs> yeah, about a million. Sheesh. Hey, so where do you guys live? In Savannah, Georgia. So do you guys rent or do you own? Uh, we, we rent. How much is your rent over there in Savannah? And they out of Savannah, Georgia. G-A. Ain't no more playing G-A. Don't give up where you stay. Ain't no more playing G-A. About 2,000. 2K? In Savannah? So what's your credit score? About 750. Yeah, about a, about a 650. All because of her. Okay. Um, How much money is in your checking account right now? About 8K. 8,000? All right, nice. Me, yeah, about 40. Okay, what's the worst part about driving trucks? Well, I'm a truck owner and a company owner, so 
drivers, really. What's the worst part about being a nurse? The staff. It's the oh, staff. Oh, the co-workers. Staff. Yes. What's the most overrated luxury brand? Balenciaga. Do I have to ask why? Oh. It's ugly. Oh. <laughs> it's ugly. Okay, what about you? Oh. Balenciaga. Okay, why Balenciaga? I just don't like the big bulky shoes. <laughs> so if you could hang out with a rapper for a day, what rapper? Hey, y'all let me know in the comment section what brands y'all don't like. What brands y'all don't the The top end or the high, high end. Uh, fashion. What brands do you not like? Would it be? Uh, probably be Future. Future? Okay, he the toxic type. All right, what about you? I'm hanging with him, so. I want y'all to rate my outfit, right? On a scale from 1 to 10, but be brutally honest. I could take it, all right? What do I get? I'm giving you a 10. Okay, 10? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you get a 10. Right over it. Your biggest challenge right now? The roads and the people that are on them. <laughs> in, in what way? Just people don't know how to drive? Yeah, cutting, like they don't know how to drive around truck drivers. It's um, like they cut us off and they, they go from the hammer lane all the way to their exit right in front of us. You know, and it's instead of taking, you know, the couple extra minutes that it would take to drive safely, um, they just come right over like we don't exist and we're not 80,000 pounds. Yeah. How about truck parking? Is that an issue? Absolutely. Just, you can't find truck parking? Um, it depends on the time, like between like 4 p.m. and later on to like 8 a.m. in the morning, it's really difficult to find uh, spots. Um, and, you know, it's really hard to even get into some of these places that do have open parking spots just because there's not a lot of room. Hey man, we gotta get this guy right here a round of applause, man. We gotta give him a round of applause. He, and he couldn't have said it no better. He said he couldn't have said it no better. Perfectly said, my guy. Perfectly said. He looked like his name might be Steve or Brandon or something. Hey, whatever your name is. Good, good job, man. Good. Well said. I done got my two wheels license officially. <laughs> You got that motherfucker on two wheels. <laughs> two wheels. Are you by yourself? Yes, sir. There's no one in the cab? No, I mean, no. There's no. nobody in the cab? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I take a look? I mean, if you want to. I mean, yeah. <laughs> kind of want to. Can you stand here for me? Yes, sir. The what? There's people in the cab. There's people in the cab? Yes, sir. Hey, listen. I've got to be honest with you. Yes, you ah, shit. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Look how all of them in there. They ain't even move. They just like... Like mannequins back that joint. How much y'all think he got per person? He had 18 people on that joint. How much y'all think he got per person? Let me know. Put it in the comment section. Okay. You got this. Do me a favor, yeah. Uh, on this one or stairs? Do on this one? On this one? Those on the Mako? Okay. Cough. I mean, they packed in there like sardines. For BP. How many are they? Quantos son? Quantos no hay arriba? 18, I guess. What? I got like 18. About 18, Sarge. Fool, now I said. Do it then. Do it then. And I'll smack the show. Like I said, touch me. Oh. Don't touch me. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Don't touch me. Fool, now I said. Do it then. Do it then. And I'll smack the show. I just want to say, man. I just want to say. I don't condone any violence. Nor do I condone people putting their hands on people, any of that type of stuff. But I got so many unanswered questions to that clip. Like, he was a trainer, she was a trainee, right? Why did she stuff the food in his in his face? Do you think a lot of these trainers be messing with these girls or you know, when they start training with each other, not even just the girls, like boys and boys and girls. Do you think that these trainers be taking advantage of these students or do you think the student might take advantage of some of these some of these drivers or these trainers do you think y'all let me know i don't know sometimes i've seen some of these situations like 
you got to be very bold to like not even know a person and just hit them in the face with a plate of food. And you, the trainer gets up and he grabs her like, do they know each other? Do they not know? Like something ain't right about that. But anyway, y'all let me know, man. Let me, give me some feedback on some of the TikToks that y'all saw in this video today. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if I'm doing a good job. Let me know if y'all enjoying the content. Hey, we a family here. You know what I'm saying? Flat truckers. Let me know. Until next time. Runaway child. And we are out.